pricey. And I could never justify paying for that with all the rest of the stuff I had involved with uh, farm expansion. Okay, we want field seven. Which is probably that yellow field to the left of the two white ones. As I said, it's not very big. two white ones. So field nine has sunflowers, field seven is the one I want. Oh! Hmm. It looks like it's on the back of the pig farm in the yard directly ahead of us. Okay, I am actually going to walk through this field and see where it comes out. I think... Okay, there's corn there. Oh. Ah, yes, I see. You go down there, turn left, and that brings you out to the road just by the store. Need to check the delivery point is here. Uh, barley is to the grain elevator. Debris crusher, grain elevator. So we're actually behind the store. Um, I think I should probably get the Land Rover and uh, tow the head of trailer with that because there's no way I'm going to be able to maneuver the harvester. Into that field. Again, just because of the entrance to it there. This map, for the most part, is designed for quite small equipment. You can get around that by having a very small harvester oops, to clear off the entrance. So like here, if you could drive in with a dominator and sort of clear a small square of that, near the entrance, it'll give you room to get um, other equipment in, like bigger headers, bigger harvesters. Okay. Oops. get that out of the way I wonder how much of this I could do as a follow me the one time it's useful that that tractor is, or that truck, is uh, right-hand drive. Okay. 
Okay, pull up there. Looks like the uh, Massey Ferguson is just coming in behind us. Try not to get a spike in the brain. Ferguson. Oops. And that one. Oh, oh engine on the first. Okay. So yeah, one of the the nice things about this version of Follow Me is when you press control F it will list all of the vehicles in front and large font the one it's currently selected to you can press control F a couple of times until it's so it's following the Santana now it's following the Deutz now it's locked in I can jump out there's a dude in there dude in there and another dude in there looks like his brother and we can jump in here and hopefully everyone gets out in time oh, looks like the Massey made it uh oh and looks like the Deutz made it don't know that the harvester made it. Uh, I don't want to go this way. Oh, this is terrible. This is really bad. Okay. I'm totally messed up here. Okay. I'm going to park that there. jump in this thing. Turn off the worker and all of you lot can follow me instead because I should have turned left down here because I'm an idiot. Uh, looks like yeah the harvester got completely messed up but that's okay that's my stuff. Unfortunately I think the harvester is probably blocking the road which is less than ideal. Less than ideal. Haha. -ha. Another pun. Did we actually get stuck completely on the post? Yes. Awesome. I think I'll probably park this along this strip here. Um, oh, the Deutz got stuck. Well, aren't we having a lot of fun with all the equipment today? Uh, back one. What the heck? Oh. Okay, I will say that the posts in the hedges are a really nice idea, just because 
it allows you to remove he easily remove the hedges which on a lot of I think there's you know there's sort of three ways to do it they're permanently placed so to get rid of them you have to go into the Giants editor um, you can do it this way which means I can come along with a chainsaw and I can chop them up I can chop the posts and they disappear something that I think it was Alien Jim started with or you can my goodness what the heck did you manage to do there um, okay that works or you can do what oxygen david did in farm sim 19 which i have heard he's not planning to do in 22 because it was quite a lot of hassle is to allow you to mow the or you know trim the hedges with a with a hedge trimmer and get rid of them now two of those methods means that the hedges or you know two of those methods mean that the hedges aren't going to cause you problems when you drive near them the one where you've got posts, the one on this map, does mean that the posts have collisions so you can get stuck on a post without getting stuck on the hedge. And that's, that can be annoying at times. Um, the other problem I have obviously is if I chop the hedges down and replace them with in-game hedges they become collision points and I have to pay for them so that uh, I can't drive you know, if, if I clip them in any way I just end up with I can't do anything and there's the Land Rover okay so I think we can drive down to the sawmill turn around and come back again this is where Disturbed Simulations made his farmyard. I think he might have dropped some of the trees down. Or maybe not. I hope I can drive around this place. <laughs> I hope I can drive around this place. Please let me drive around this place. There we go. <coughs> so yes took me a while to work out where he'd actually put his farm and since he's the English language ambassador for um, farming agency who do maize plus he uh he has a lot of very good, oh crash, oh crash, a lot of very good um, videos on how Maze Plus works, just in case you were interested. Now his latest one this week does seem to indicate that you get more grass from grazing than you do if you mow it by a fair margin so uh, yeah for our farm that that grass field that uh, the cow barn is attached to um, yeah you should never mow that just let them graze it as they need to the only problem is is they need to be running out of food in order for them to actually use the grass for grazing so if if food levels i mean it, i guess well i don't know i was going to say in spring they'd suddenly be able to start grazing but they won't because the the grass is not there okay um I think I'm going to have to give this a helping hand because again 
can't drive through the hedge because there's a pole. Okay. And long thinking as we turn it that way to get the uh, dolly wheel straight. And we turn it the other way to get the Land Rover a little bit straighter. And that should be enough room for the harvester to connect to. Yes. Kemio Ayel, welcome to Saturday stream. Everything is well at the moment. Mrs. Osa is out cleaning the church with our former foster kids. Teenage Osa has a um, practical missionary session where she's learning first aid. So I have the house all to myself until about 12 o'clock, maybe 1 o'clock. Very careful there. I think one thing I am grateful for is that the hedges are no longer collisions for um, headers, which they used to be. And uh, yeah, the deal with the hedges, what I'm probably going to do on my farm is I'm going to take out all of these style of hedges and replace them with uh, um, normal in-game hedges. That should mean that uh, vehicles will collision on the edge of the field so they won't get stuck on the posts. They'll just say, oh, there's a hedge there and reverse back. I think the problem with workers with these types of hedges is they don't see the sticks, the posts, so they can get stuck on them, and they don't see the hedge as a um, impediment, so sometimes they'll try and drive through the hedge and get stuck on the post. Um, if it was a proper in-game hedge, then I would, you know, they would see the hedge as impassable and reverse through the crop and do their turnaround. So um, that's one of the reasons why I'm probably looking at replacing most of the hedges on my farm with uh, proper collision hedges or fences. One of the two, maybe both. Okay, I am... I'm going to guess that this entire field fits in our grain card. Probably not going to fit entirely in the harvester. So since we're selling at the store, exit is there. If I was selling down at the, um, the big place, uh, what's it, the Maypole imports, exports, then I would probably cut through the yard behind where the tractors are there. Because that's a little bit more direct. So, with the state of um, harvesting contracts as they stand. I'm now at risk because we've removed 4,500 litres of barley from this field. So if the game crashes I lose this equipment and uh, everything in it. Technically what I should have done was field 7 first so that I'm any, any equipment I lose is currently parked in the yard at the uh, store and work my way around from there. Uh, I didn't. 
hopefully we're not going to regret that. How's the tea? But the tea is getting cold. And it's only 3.40 in the afternoon, so good things. Should definitely make two headlands on this on the capacity of this harvester. Do I need to do two headlands? Yeah, maybe, I don't know. So things that uh, the latest update to Maze Plus did, and that was dropped this week. Um, the prices of silage have been edited. So if you look at whole crop silage, which is the old type, it's 155. But then there is also maize silage, 130. And wasn't there another silage grass silage, which is also 130? Those were previously ludicrous price, but you could edit the HTML for Maze Plus to bring them down in line with the pricing or the economy that you were running on your map. So that was something disturbed simulations did a YouTube video showing you how to do it, and then said he did it for the latest release of Maze Plus. So that's a good thing. We now don't need to go and edit HTML files to get the prices more in line. Um, what else was there? There are a couple of fixes to some of the Maze Plus equipment, I believe. We may look at using some of that. I think, oh, he also said there's now a script in Maze Plus that allows you to unload any sort of silage at the BGA. And he said the problem is that um, the BGA, oh, sorry, this, no, it's the, the pipes and hoses BGA. Um, the problem with the pipes and hoses BGA is it's only set to accept in-game silage, which Maze Plus renames to um, WCS whole crop silage. So if you create whole crop silage, you can deliver it to the BGA, but if you make grass silage or maize silage, you can't. So what they've done is there is a script in Maze Plus now which converts um, grass silage and maize silage into whole crop silage as you're tipping it into the BGA. It does mean you get less silage. Um, or more silage. I think corn silage can't remember. One of them is increased by 5%, one of them is decreased by 5%, so that um, I might set this on a worker now, and we can go get the baler. But it results in the same energy of silage being dropped at the BGA, and uh, you get paid for it and everything else, but at least it's now accepted, so it doesn't break contracts if you're delivering to the uh, Pipes and Hoses BGA. And not doing the second headland at this end because there's the farm track there, so it's fine. So 
so this should result in very little straw being created generated on this field but that's fine uh, flour from the flour mill we're currently selling because the stop too quick um, the bakery has enough flour to run for the next 13 months so next September it will run out of flour so really don't need to be dropping 50,000 litres more flour down there because they're never going to use it well they are but not for another year and frankly we're probably going to be making it more of it next year especially if we keep doing if we keep doing contracts for straw that does mean that we're going to be producing a lot of uh, barley wheat oats that would that frequently cause to be delivered at our grain mill so while we don't get bonus pay for harvesting we do get all of the grain um, dropped at our facility and we then get to process that grain and uh, convert it into flour which means it's more valuable so we get more bonus but not as we complete the the contract you know months months later we get bonus pay so that's that's a thing This row has the harvester stopped? No. The harvester is at 38%, so doing okay. Still. Oh, we're about to make another bale. <clears throat> so you think once these two contracts are done, I'm not going to be doing any more um, grain, you know, uh, harvest for straw missions. Um, I'll turn off the straw swath if I do any more wheat or barley contracts. Um, and they, they don't pay significantly well. So it's not like we're making a lot of money. It's kind of good enough for now. And we are going to need a milk tanker fairly soon, I would think. Beeping again. And milk tankers are 130,000, so. That's, it. That's the other thing I'm thinking now. Um, because our production of milk is significantly higher with Maize Plus, should I buy the dairy and make butter and cheese? because it's all going to result in more income it's just that we need 90,000 to buy the dairy before we start <clears throat> 